Here are the 16 most common and worst scams in Italy that you might see during your visit. And yeah, you can protect yourself from these scams by subscribing to our channel. Number 16, bird poop scam. Scammers intentionally splattering bird droppings on tourists, then offering to help clean it up while stealing their belongings or demanding payment for the service. Number 15, ATM skimming scam. This scam involves criminals installing hidden devices on ATMs to capture card information and pins, enabling them to clone cards and make unauthorized withdrawals or purchases, leading to financial loss. Number 14, mime artist scam in Florence City. There's a unique tourist scam involving mime artists. They approach tourists, perform acts, and aggressively demand payment, exploiting visitors' desire for cultural experiences. Number 13, helping scam. Fraudsters pose as helpful locals to deceive tourists and exploit their vulnerability, often leading to theft or excessive charges. Number 12, unreliable taxi drivers. Some taxi drivers overcharge tourists or take longer routes to maximize their earnings. Number 11, wristband scam. Scammers offer tourists free and cheap wristbands with promised privileges or discounts. After accepting, they demand high fees or donations. Number 10, deceptive mute imposter scam. Scammers in Italy's tourist areas fake being deaf and mute, seeking donations or selling items. They use gestures or notes for sympathy, but they aren't truly disabled. Stay vigilant and politely decline their offers. Number 9, coffee drink scam. Cafes in big cities like Rome may not always be honest. Be careful near tourist spots, especially in Rome. Some cafes falsely offer double cappuccinos, and it's a scam. Number 8. Illegal Sales In tourist areas, scammers sell counterfeit goods such as handbags and watches at low prices, claiming authenticity. These products are of low value. Number 7. Fake Tickets This scam is common around tourist spots, museums, and attractions. Some individuals sell fake tickets that appear genuine. Number 6. Fake Police Officers some people dress up as tourists or impersonate police officers to approach tourists and falsely claim fines, tax, or penalties. Genuine police officers always carry identification cards. Number five, club or bar touts. Fake promises, high prices, forced payment, and intimidating bouncers make loan travelers vulnerable to the bar or club scam. Number four, paper move scam. Scammers using a paper or map as a distraction to target tourists and manipulate them for fraudulent purposes. Number three, Romani children scam. This scam in Italy involves the exploitation of young Romani children who are coerced into begging on the streets, often under the control of criminal networks, to deceive sympathetic tourists and extort money from them. Number two, fashion scam. In Italy, fashion scam ensnares tourists with fake designer goods, offering them at inflated prices while claiming authenticity, resulting in unsuspecting buyers being deceived and cheated. Number one, pickpocketing scam. This is a common scam where individuals in crowded tourist areas such as monuments, markets, and public transportation distract tourists and steal their belongings. Pickpockets often work in teams and use various distraction techniques.